Cafe presents drum roll please drum roll please Boulder Green Cafe alright lots more to come on this right here I'll, I'll explain a lot more with this it's a new cafe yes presented by uh, Backyard Cafe yours truly my crew and um, we're coming up with a new cafe that's going to be located uh, in Boulder Green, right? And these are some of the stuff that we're going to be serving up. All fresh ingredients from our marketplace, using our market, using our farmers, using our local vendors. Nothing would be coming from a supermarket. Street food at its best, all right? Boulder Green Cafe, serving up. We're going to be making, well, I got the cappuccino machine. I got... Uh, all my different types of coffee machine and everything so we're going to be serving up coffee Guyanese coffee Guyanese ground coffee from the Palmer Road right from the Northwest so we're going to be doing espresso with Guyanese coffee we're going to be doing cappuccino with Guyanese coffee we're going to be doing regular coffee and add a little bit of rum to it if that's what you like I'll do what I like you want a little bit of rum to your coffee and believe me the rum in the coffee a little bit of the 10 year five year uh the 12 year super taste all right and i got that when i was in the in the army and um christmas time they would come around with the coffee and then they add rum rum to it and um my brigadier brigadier Josie, he was one of the ones who uh, came around one christmas morning and serve everyone in the barracks and I was floored man to have the brigadier I'm there in my little bucked up my tidy whities and I'm like yes sir then the guys coming up coming around with the coffee and the, and the little metal cups I had a taste and I'm like I was hooked from then all right so yes all Guyanese style cuisine street food at its best all new stuff that you're gonna be seeing for the first time Boulder Green Cafe, brought to you by Backyard Cafe, all right? So the, the, the cat is out of the bag. Every year we try to do something new. And for 2023, this is the new um, operation that, that we're working on. We're getting a little, uh, uh, we're bumping heads a little bit with the uh, city council and the council for the marketplace. Obviously they don't know what's going on, but we are here to change tourism. We are here to change Guyana in the whole so that People can come and see food and enjoy food, enjoy our marketplace, enjoy our people. They do not understand that as yet, but hopefully when this video goes out there, you guys will let them know, you know, give us a break. Give us a break. And that's why we, we hope that the, the construction and everything is held up because of the city of Georgetown, the city council. The folks at uh, 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 out on Regent Street right there, the council office on Regent Street right there. The, um, the people who are supposed to be helping us to beautify the place. They're the ones that's holding up our um, construction right now. All right? So you can um, go out there and let them know that this is something good for Guyana, for tourism, for our country, for our people, for the economy. Because we're going to, we, we already hired people that's around that neighborhood right here, all right? And they're sitting waiting because they got us held up, all right? So the new project for 2023 is Border Green Cafe brought to you by yours truly. And thank you guys so much for all your support and you're gonna see more of that. But let's get down to business right now. What are we doing over here? Easy does it. You should have get, got, got a fork, look, I got a fork right here. And you pull it off easy, like this. Oh, how about them apples right here? <laughs> right? But that's what working together is. Alright, now you pull in one direction. Pull in one direction. You really want to keep that stem on there, right? Okay, on your side, where's your tissue? You get the tissue, push that aside. Good, can I turn over now? Boom, bam. 
working together is what is what, what it is, right? We're a community. So communicate with each other, work together with each other, right? That's the whole thing that we're doing here, right? And then what you do now, you see the charredness of the skin and everything? It's smoke. You want that. That is flavor too. Alright? So give it a crush like this. Slight little crush. Boom, 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 boom. Open it up. Alright? Just like if you're making baba ganoush. Well, the guy is gonna be mad. What is this here, baba ganoush? I said, baba ganoush. You want to call it Melange Choco? Go right ahead. That's right. Alright? Food should never stay one, one, one place. <coughs> Food is not contained to one continent, to one country, to one town, one city, one neighborhood, one household. Food is a universal thing. Everyone gets to share it. And that's what we're doing right here, all right? So, if the Italians call it baba ganoush, that's what it is. If you wanna call it baigan choca, that's what it is, right? So, we're doing a Filipino omelet. So just give that a bite here for me. Take out some of that um, burnt skin, and then clean that off. Then we want to do the other the other eggplant next to it. All right. So I'm adding some crushed garlic and diced garlic to my omelette. Adding some green onions, shallot, green onions, and some of the vinegar. What the vinegar does, Paul, it actually takes away that egg smell. You see? That's why you would see them putting the vinegar in the egg. So when you're eating the egg now, you don't have that. Yeah. No, I'm just explaining to you why that is there. All right. Fresh crushed black pepper. Eggs well seasoned. Your eggplant well seasoned. Take this off, add my pan now for, give this a whip. So we're whipping up our Filipino omelette. Easy, quick, simple. And you wanna cover this nicely you want the entire thing to cover up right take it off a little bit because I don't want it to look burnt like I want to have a nice color to my eggs there you go sides cook and then you want to throw your eggs up yeah just a little bit cover your eggplant right there after adjust the stove heat is a little bit too much for that right so we're gonna pull off let it roast a little bit so I can get to turn it over 
Right, let's turn this over. Nicely done. Look at that. I don't like to overcook my eggs, eh? I don't like to overcook my eggs. But some people like it hard, soft. This is how I like it. Look at that. Still a little jiggly in the, in the middle there. I like that. That's how I like to do my eggs. All right? Final season. A little bit of salt. Some decorations. The um, pepper jam. my chocolate habanero pepper jam instead of using ketchup they they love ketchup you know this right the Filipinos they love ketchup so let's try we're going to do the other one this is this is mine Ashanti you want to you want to get yours done but we got to try this first All right come come spoon fork whatever it is that you guys gonna be doing let's get her done Right, picture that right there, and then you have some of this exciting juice on the rice, and you can also have a little bit on your um, eggplant omelet right there. So, clean it up for the camera, and then we're ready to taste. You guys, come around, get around, kids. Here. <coughs> Pickle flavored habanero. So. I'm gonna go for a piece of this pickle. Come guys, come. Don't have me here sitting here alone. You want some cheese on it? Well, you can do that with yours. You can add cheese to it. You remember, you can add anything. Food should not stick to one thing. You remember I said it's not one continent, it's not one country, it's not one city, it's not one town, it's not one uh, uh, household. Food is a worldwide thing. So, how is that omelet? Uh huh. How is that? Very good. Mm. Eggplant lovers, egg lovers, trying something new. Yes, you can add cheese to this, add whatever you desire, whatever you like. Some mm. Mm -hmm. bring some in a container for me now, please. Some with the rice. Mm. Bro, bro, how is that? It's really good. Splendid. The pickled cucumber goes so nicely with it. Mm. So we got Karaila Achar, we eat in our omelet, our Filipino omelet, Guyanese style, with some rice. Yo! <laughs> Try that with the Karaila Achar. That is crazy. Alright, we got the camera guy. We can't leave the camera guy out. So. That's very good. Somebody grab the camera. Let's let's have the camera guy eat and tell us what he thinks. Young chef also. He's in Carnegie. Doing his apprenticeship at the Marriott right now. Let's see what he what, what's his thought. You throwing away all the thing on the ground or anything by you wasting the food by one with you by? I waste my pickled pepper, boy. You don't waste good thing, boy. Huh? The yeah, tartar tastes good with it, right? Yo, that's splendid, bro. And they are trying even better. Always, um, 
uh, Luis Carrillo. That's what people would think. But this here is, and you see what, I would, what I'm telling you guys about? Something that was added to our menu. Mom invented that, mom created that. So that is her thing. You guys have to create. That's why we're chefs, that's why we're here. We're here to change the landscape on how people see food. Regardless of what they might say and think, they do not understand where we're going and where you want to take food. All you have to do is constantly keep showing them. All right? So that's what this is all about. So mom is healing up nicely. Thanks to mom. Our Karaila Achar is a big hit with this one, right? Karaila Achar is bussing. Mm. Because for me, the pepper jam, I'm not even tasting the pepper jam. More pepper jam. Mm. But then the Karaila got this saltiness. Then the pepper jam has that sweetness. And I'm having a salsa moment in, 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 in my mouth, like a fiesta. Give a ratatouille? A ratatouille, man. A ratatouille moment. This man wasting me pepper kind of thing, buddy. <laughs> no expensive it is. It's expensive, but I got it for free, but we don't we don't waste it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, so part one is finished. We're gonna let Ashanti do her thing. Alright? Try it out and get her Filipino omelette ready on the plate also and then we get to eat again. Alright? Check you soon. <laughs>